Hello! Welcome back to Viva Pinata! Last time we were planting some grass and we had this little Sparrow Mint fellow, Sparrow Mint One. He joined us because uh, our little adorable worms, uh, Sally and Harold, I think is your name? Isn't it Harold? Yes, Sally and Harold had a little baby called Worm Three. He doesn't have a name yet. Uh, I suppose we should fix that. A oh. baby piñata is ready to grow up. The baby goes into a cocoon where it grows to its adult size. When it has grown, it will hatch out as a young adult. If you get impatient, you could give the cocoon <laughs> some encouragement with your shovel. Sometimes, when I'm teaching, <laughs> the children just need some encouragement with a... Sh no, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to finish that sentence because it's not true. But it's mildly hilarious to to encourage. I mean, cocoons make sense for worms, but I mean, it's not quite so cute now. I wanna, I wanna, why? Yeah, condition status? Nope. Uh, da, da, da. basic info. Enter a name for your pinata. His name shall be Emir. Um. Might be a Norse giant. Might be something else. Not entirely sure. But his name is now Emir. <laughs> um, and you, Sparrow Mint, you great destroyer, who will no doubt try to eat my worms, you will be the obvious of Loki. Um, Sparrow Mint, not Spiro Mints. I'm sure that there was a rotate. Oh, there we go. Like I can really trust cool. Them. I have two seeds that are ideal for someone starting a new garden. You can have either one. Please choose a seed from either hand by moving the left stick. It's like the helix fossil and the dome fossil all over again. I always ended up going for the dome, even though I kind of wanted the helix. So, I mean, that looks more like a helix than a dome. Thank you. When you get back to the garden, your cursor will be holding the seed. You need to plant this type of seed in soil. Look at the buttons displayed in the top right of the screen to help you with the seed. Or you can press Y now and the journal will give you a full explanation. Nope. I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, we will plant it over here by the serpent. and see if it's for him. Is it for you? The next time oh. you put the cursor over a plant, you'll notice the water meter. It shows how much water a plant has. As you'd expect. You use the water meter to make sure conditions are perfect for the plant to grow. Right. Well done. Thank you. You've planted your seed, but you'll need to water it to help it grow. Without water, the plant will turn yellowy brown and die. That's the wrong and die. You're giving it too much water, which can also kill it. Go back to the garden by pressing A. Okay. Watering can! Held together by bandages. Saving the game, thank you. Uh watering can. Once again, the button yep. I'm getting a short pour. Please. Plant over watered. Oh right, I understand now. Thank you. The next stage is to get them to romance. Yep. Open the menu and look in the journal, or you can put the cursor on a sparrowmint and press. Okay. I want to put you away. I want to find my two sparrowmints. Is that you? Are you sparrowmint two? You are sparrowmint two. You look a lot like an untamed sparrowmint. Oh, you. Okay. You look fine now. Uh, has eaten one worm. I knew it. I don't want you to breathe. <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice my worm. Um, I get. No, I was going to call you something else, but I make you a man, and that would be. I mean, I don't. I don't have a problem with you both being dudes, but the game shouldn't really work if you're both dudes, and you make a baby pinata. Not without the help of a third sparrowmint. Um. To help you along. I, 
How are you doing? You're doing alright. Uh, where's the syrup and what do I need? I need the marsh mouse. Ma marshmallow mouse? What's it called? Mouse mallow. You seem to have most of the basics now. So see what you can do with the rest of the day before the sun goes down. Before the sun goes down. Okay. Oh, it's a mouse mallow. Choo. Oh. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, choo jump. You look oddly delicious. Good news. You nope. attracted a mouse mallow. Someone forgot this to turn off the tablet. Turnip in your garden. Turnip? What's a damn turnip doing in my garden? You gave me turnips. What do you think this is bloody animal crossing? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open a stork market. Where am I? Hmm. Serapunt, you better leave that turnip alone. That turnip is for this mysterious. Oh yeah, w romancing. Uh, select. I have a Harold and and Amir. It's a little weird. It's kind of hard to keep track of you, but apparently you are. Come and get me. Okay. Uh, so we know that we can quite easily get all of the coins in time. Oh, crap. Huh? It doesn't help when you go and do that speedy whirly thing. I guess that's why they're called worms, because they whirl around and spin and jump and dance and... It's so beautiful. Right. Oh, a moth drop. Some of these, uh, some of these puns, these punyatas, are, um, a little bit forced. Um... Some of the portmanos quite good. Some of them not so much. You attracted a moth drop. When the sun goes down, the moth drop will look for a suitable garden. Rightio. Moth drop, moth drop. It's quite dark now. Everyone's going to sleep. I should probably build. I don't know how to build. How to get to that guy. Nope. Doing it again. Menu. Uh label grass journal watering can shovel. Nope, I wanted to talk to the man. The man with the building plans. I can't leave to see the status of the, the mouse mallow. Uh, and I don't know where this moth, moth drop is. All in all, I managed to romance an extra one worm. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it's actually really a bad idea for me to pause. Uh, for any reason in in this game because the recording is so huge but whatever what do I do now do we to keep romancing worms I mean they're still lovey dovey where is where how do I can I cycle through the worms Here nope is your clock. oh thanks from now on you can see what time it is in the garden some gardeners use their clock to predict which wild pinata will show up some gardeners are better than I am. Man, time is fast. Oh god, it's already a quarter past midnight. Um, oh, an egg delivered. Thank you. What oh, sounds a little evil, though. This egg is an evil egg. Um, yeah, I I don't really know what to be doing at this precise moment in time because everyone's asleep, uh, and I can't force for time. Hi. Change the garden to attract pinata. Then give them what they want to make. Right. Does the sun rise at two? Can I not angle up? Nope. Well, I may as well uh, plant some grass, I guess. Start pouring out the grass. <sighs> I know that it doesn't actually need to be or even want to be 100% grass. But I feel like grass is a better thing to be having than a massive pile of dirt until I see someone see a piñata that requires me to have a little bit of dirt. Just just a little patch of unsullied soil. Uh, oh, hello, Mothrop. What would... How do I get you to live here? You're probably either very bland or very colourful. 
has a light. Has a light. That is... That is not possible. We do not know how to light things up here. We live in the dark. Like a proper farmer. We work by the sun. We work by the moon. Trying to get piñatas to move in. Don't know what to do about this turnip. Do I, am I supposed to pull the turnip up? I don't know. Can't get the mouse mallow in here to see what he wants. I'm supposed to be working on this master romance thing probably, aren't I? Amir? Harold, it's time for you to go again. Let's do this. You're growing up, worm four. Um, I think I'm just... I'm not gonna... Alright, I'll go. Oh, why do I only have three lives now? Do I have a maximum number of piñata? I don't know. Probably. Probably next time, maybe only two piñata choices. When Sally and Worm 4... Where is Sally? Sally? Ah, Sally. There you are. Sally. Please. It is your duty as worms to make children for which other children will beat you and get candy out of you. I don't really remember how the actual selling, trading piñatas thing works out. No, we've still got three lives. Hmm. Whatever. Um. Ah! You're a lunatic! Lunatic! I don't, I don't know which worm it is I'm controlling, and it's a bit problematic. Oh wow. <laughs> you see them around the clock? Yeah. When you do something to help the garden, the petals will turn blue. Right. If you'd like some more information about the experience petals, press Y or look All right, how many have we got? Oh, level up. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Two levels, maybe. Leveled Hooray! Up. I'll settle for acceptable All first. Things happen when you become a better gardener. New shops open, new items appear in the shop. Okay. New pinatas will want to visit. New characters appear, and Cedos will have. Who is Cedos? Have I met Cedos? It's been a while since I've recorded, um, the first episode. We double leveled up, so that's great. Um, still don't have access to any shops, of course, but that'll probably come. In the next day or so, or in the next few hours, it is only seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, hello, Cedros. You look like uh, someone who's been got a head trap on. Oh God, don't laugh. Okay. Lefos looks quite a lot like the stork lady, but with a different hat. Hello, donut. Oh. Sorry. I think I interrupted an adorable sound. Please make it again. Nope. God damn, it sounded like it might have been quite adorable. I have grown a lot of grass. Donut! All the donuts will have to therefore be either types of donut or red versus blue characters. Egg delivered. Cool. My world empire is growing. So do I get an experience point for every world my romance? Every world I, buy, I, I breed? I don't know. Who are you? Harold? Yeah, okay. Come on. Look at the sticks. Emir? Okay. Sally? You're world four then. And you will be called... So we've got, we need more women. Uh, you can be Freya. There you go. Seems a bit weird that I've got to use the keyboard to do the. Um, I probably misspelled Mr. Y, I think. Is it Freya? Or is it just Freya? I don't know. My uh, my book is too far away. Oh, Cedos, you crazy guy. Hello, I'm Cedos. Oh, Cedos. And don't hit me with your spade. How about I don't take the seed? And do hit you with the spade. Huh. Ah. 
Thanks, guy. It's the one I didn't choose earlier. You are a happy fellow. Uh, let's go plant it near the turnip. Drop. Okay. You're fine. What noises are you making, you crazy, crazy man? How does that mask even work? Oh, <gasps> Max Manos. I probably did have to pick it up then. And there's the... Why are you so upset? He's growing fine. I don't want to water him. Hi, Mouse Mellow. What do you need? To eat a turnip. Build a shop. Completely missed that. How do I... Ah. Builder. We're going to the village. To the Willy Builder. He has a hammer for a head. I only just realised. Uh, so we've got a worm house. We're going to want... Yep. So... My... I wish I could change the angle. I think what we'll do is... I mean, we're going to have to sacrifice some worms. We're going to shove you in the corner, though. Right? If that's the front door, why can't I have it? Well, whatever. There we go. Yep, I will pay you your gold. Mouse Mallow has devoured my only turnip. He's a bit of a dick like that. I guess I can only get them from Cedos. Cedos! Ah, ah, ah! Sometimes piñatas prefer eating... Bleh! Bleh. <laughs> you are a new seed. You look a bit like a... Corn kernel. Oh, chew, chew. Voice actor for the for the mouse mallow. A little bit um, a little bit sedate. <laughs> Hello, mouse mallow. Mouse mallow one. I don't know many types of marshmallow goodness, but I do know about tea cakes. So you will be called tea cake. This is worse than Pokemon for naming things. Choo! 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 Exactly. I don't know how long I've been recording for. I don't know how much drive space I have. I'm just going to keep going and then uh, I'll probably split it in, in some really awkward way or I'll say that I will go until the next midnight. Or is that a bit long? Next sunset? Oh, a white flutterscotch! Great flutterscotch! That's my worst Doc Brown impression I have ever done in my life. So the White Flood of Scotch is quite a bit like the Moth Drop. Congratulations! You have attracted a White Flutter Scotch. Sometimes they are attracted by the noises of... A white one? And a, a Taffly? I don't really like the Taffly. Taffly? Taffy lie? Taffly lie? I don't know. <laughs> he was the guy who was flying over earlier. Uh, when we came down here. Here's a tough fly. It likes flowers. I don't have any flowers. Why are all these flower... Oh, I grew a daisy. <laughs> oh, Freya. Napping by a daisy. Builder's finished. Let's get the shovel. Thanks, Willy. Bloody, I'm busy. You've put too much of the fake tan on. It is literally only on your face. Thanks. I expect to see you in here very soon. Just bring lots of cash. Oh. Oh. Nobody likes the taste of chocolate coins more than Lottie, I can tell you. Wait a minute. I I forgot that my money was I forgot to say. General store is now open. Remember those chocolate coins you can I keep forgetting they're chocolate coins. I could be eating my entire savings. Yeah, I've already been Oh god. You can buy romance sweets. If you have romanced a piñata species before, you can replace all their requirements except their I don't remember this bit. ...with a romance sweet. Buy a sweet and direct a piñata to it. They should eat it, and instantly they will have a heart appear over their head to show hmm. they're ready to romance. This should make... 
I mean, that's quite good because it means that once I've sacrificed one of my worms, two of my worms, uh, I can um, I can just romance them with a sweet, depending on how expensive the sweet is. How expensive are you, sweet? Uh, sweet shopping. Do do do. Ah! Oh! Yep, yep, yep. Buy or sell, buy. Sweets. Wait for it. A romance sweet costs six. Well, I mean, I may as well... Ooh, seeds. So we can only have seeds as far as we have unlocked them, except for the thistle seed. We haven't had one of those yet. I don't know whether I want a thistle seed. Um. Right, vegetables. We can grow a turnip or a carrot. Sweet. Fences. Don't know why I'd want a fence. But okay. Ah, lighting. A firebrand, yep. An and then we can have a moth drop. At some point. I will plant just in front of the worms. I think that they deserve. Oh, I want to place you. Check out. Okay, finish shopping for now. Finally. Sorry. Yes. What? Transactions done. No credit or refund. Okay, there we go. The purchasing thing is a little bit is a little bit confusing in terms of placing stuff, but whatever. Um, oh goddamn! Okay. Right. Every time something happens to the piñata, the triangles turn orange or turn blue. The more orange triangles a piñata has, the happier. What a weird way to say triangle. Triangle. Um, happy meter explanation. Okay, how are you doing, Worm Five? Oh, you're, you're a bundle of neutrality. That's not good for a worm. Worms should be happy. Happy. I need a name for Worm Five. Um. A hunt is started. Oh God. The piñata food chain means that sometimes the bigger, cute, and papery piñatas feed on the smaller, cute, and papery piñatas. You may be able to stop a hunter by dousing it with water, whacking it with your shovel, or keeping it away from its diver by building a good strong fence. I mean, to to begin with, we have to sacrifice you, tea cake. I'm... no. Tea cake! Oh no, I don't want that. No, oh, go away. I need to... no! Tea cake! Cease! Cease! Pack it in! Not today, Syrupant. I want Mouse Mallow to live for just a little bit longer. He's giving off some strange voodoo. I'm sorry. I am very sorry, Syrupant. Um, oh, midnight is actually coming quite quickly, so I probably will end the episode at midnight. Uh, hopefully a moth drop will come before then. What are you going to be? Oh, you're a buttercup. All right, then. I will leave you alone. And the daisy appears to have absolutely no flowers. It's a little bit dead. Or it's asleep for the day. I can't remember where the daisies close up overnight. I was never a very good gardener <laughs> of actual plants. Um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Could probably romance, romance a few more worms. No, we can't. They're all... What's going on in here? Let's look inside. Sparrowmint, please. Sparrowmint! It's a little annoying that you live on their house because it auto-selects you because... Of a... Sparrowmint. Sparrowmint. Yeah, okay, come over here. Thank you. I want to look inside my worm house. That is both very, very adorable and bloody weird. Somehow, they have managed to fit sofas, a fishing hook, a bookshelf. I didn't even know worms liked to read. They're having little dance parties. No one's sleeping. Um, I might have this as my wallpaper eventually. And look, there's a weird squirrel. I wonder what he's called. 
Either way, somehow, they have mastered uh, TARDIS tech. What's in this one? No one's in it, probably. That's a, that's a lot more bare bones. Um, the worms are really living it up. I mean, the Sparrowmans have a peg in there for scale, so unless that is a huge peg, um, the worms have actually gotten the far better house. Oh, what are you? A Pret's tail. You're probably a type of fox, really, aren't you? I wouldn't really have classed pretzels as a sweet either, but... Ah! What? Pret's tail has appeared. They like to investigate a garden in the dark. In the dark. Well, we've got plenty of dark, because we've only got one torch. Uh, which is apparently not enough for the moth right now, but it is midnight, so I will say thank you very much for watching. I've been Kinross, this has been Viva Piñata, and I'll see you next time when we uh, we do more things to our garden. Until then, bye bye